Hello, my beautiful Cancerian. Canc. Canc. I don't want to say Cancerians because that's just. It sounds bad. Hello, my beautiful Cancerian. Can, Cancerian. I can't get. Hello, my Cancer brothers and sisters. I wanted to bring you today. I wanted to bring to you today. An April reading, just to see what kind of energies April is going to bring for you. The energies that you need to let go of. The energies that you need to embody more of. What you need to watch out for. Stuff like that, you know. But first we're going to be pulling two oracle cards. One from my um, chakra energy deck. Which I am shuffling currently. And then another one from my fairy, my magical, mystery, forest, glade, deck. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know what the name of it is. I will put all my decks that I use in all, well, in all oracle readings um, in the description below. Just so if you like and resonate with a certain deck that I have. Well, go and pick yourself up one. I am not affiliated with any of these. But I do love them. In fact, I love them so much that about a week ago, I interviewed all my decks, including my tarot decks. And by interviewing them, I... Maybe I'll make a video on how I actually did that. But what I got from it was... The basic energy of each deck that I have, when to use it, when not to use it, who to use it for, um, its names even. Maybe I'll go over that in one of these videos. Introduce you guys to my decks. Because there is one deck right here that is directly linked to my personal third eye chakra. And it does not want to be used for anybody else. So that is my internal work deck, if you will. My shadow work deck. Okay, both of the oracle cards are shuffled. But let's see what we get. Okay, so a big steeple for this month that you may be feeling is stagnation. That does not mean that you are, go you are going to be stagnant. Yep, okay. And transmutation. Transmutation and stagnation. Oh boy. Um, I feel like this transmutation period that you are going to be going through in April is directly linked to the stagnation, but don't look at it as a stagnation event. What the phoenix has to go through in order to transform and rebirth itself is the flames itself. It has to be burnt in order to be rebirthed anew. And I feel like that is what you are going to be going through. You are going to be going to through this rebirthing process. And it may look on the outside, or even to you, as a period of your life where not much is going to be happening. I want to actually do the tarot reading right now though because I feel the spiritual change that you're going to be going through very heavily this deck I named Charity it's a very feminine based deck and she is very collected or connected to the collective she wants to help. She wants to uh, tell us the energies of the signs, of the globe, of the energies that we are experiencing on Earth, and the like. She just wants to help. She's a loving deck. She's connected to the heart chakra. So let's see what she has. Ooh. Oh. Okay. No. Oh. 
Okay. All right, so you have a lot, you have a lot of energies going on right now, Cancer. And I feel for you heavily. Maybe you are the one that I am feeling in the collective. Um, my brother is a Cancer himself, and I know he's going through a lot right now, and I can see a lot of what he's going through in this current spread right now, which is very interesting to me. All right, so we have the devil up here, meaning that you are bonded to some sort of thing, whether that be a relationship, whether that be a idea or thought pattern that you can't really get rid of. Like you're holding on to something. You are holding on to something, which is causing you a lot of mental anguish with this uh, reverse nine of swords right now, right here. Um, I would suggest honesty within yourself to um, try to really gauge what what um, what's going on, like what you are so attached to, because you have a lot of this. Um, this air energy in you so I have a feeling that it has a lot to do with your mind like you can't get over you are stuck in a war in your mind and it's causing you a lot of sleepless nights it's causing you a lot of um, confusing thoughts the page is good because it Yeah, okay. While the changes could prove to be challenging, this card shows pretenses of mental clarity and inner demons being settled and ridden from your life, which is this devil card right up here. That's your inner demons that you need to slay, Cancer. Because you have this upright temperance card, too. The circumstances of your situation will teach you to wait calmly when it seems like nothing is happening, which leads us open to... <laughs> which leads us right back into this transmutation process and the stagnation that you might be feeling. The stagnation that you might be feeling may not always be stagnant. You might not always be stagnant. You might not, you might not even be stagnant in this current stagnation process that you might be um, perceiving. It might not be what you think it is. Your mental anguish right now is probably telling you, nothing is working out for me. Nothing is going the way I want. I, I, I don't see any progress within myself. I don't see any progress within my external worlds. But that is exactly what you need to let go of. Wait calmly when it seems like nothing is happening. The person who receives temperance in the reading is not in a position to hurry matters along. Just wait. Just wait it out. Wait for that rebirthing process to take place. Do your inner work. Go inside your head. Find the bondages that you cannot let go of. Here, let's read this for you. You should reevaluate <laughs> you should reevaluate your relationship to material things. That's what the devil is. You're you're chained to some physical thing whether I don't want to say physical too because this has a lot of air energy meaning your mind so I do have a feeling that whatever this external thing event person is it it has a lot to do with your own perception of it too like I feel like if you took a step back regained your energy um, for this transmutation process and not really focus on the lack of things happening on your external world. Just trust that the universe does happen. It does work in divine timing here. You also have this um, Eight of Pentacles too. Which means that you have a lot of material energy right now. Like you don't really know what to do with it, you 
that's probably what is is causing you a lot of um, stress too is so, something going on with your finances maybe things aren't looking the way that you want or maybe you are confused in your current career choice you also have this reversed hangman too which leads us right back to the confusion you are at a crossroads but also at a standstill because the stagnation card because you know because you're stuck on the material plane the devil card the bondage and neglecting your spiritual development could be causing depression and dissatisfaction trust that if you do the work cancer that this transmutation process will come a lot easier we just went through a celestial event known as the heavens the heavens gate or the heavens portal i think it's the heavens the heavens cross alignment and with that it brought us the ability to take a look at our lives and notice the things that aren't working so that we can let them go um, with ease instead of resist the letting go process you also have this five of pentacles right here too indicates um maybe a stagnation in your finances too because you are so at war with your in Eternal self and your external events that it's also causing you a lot of confusion and with confusion with the law of attraction you're just going to bring more confusion on your outside anything that we feel on the inside and anything that we can't really give up that is what we are going to be experiencing on the outside so if it does look like you're going to be stagnant and if you focus on the stagnation instead of the transmutation process you are going to see a lot of loss in the external world so focus on your internal state of being be one and trusting with the universe and, and know that everything is within divine timing use temperance right here you don't don't rush into anything in april you also have this um reverse seven of swords too Maintain caution and vigilance in all things during this period. That is a good reading. You also have this, sorry, you, <laughs> you also have this five of swords right here. Suggest the double-edged nature of the sword. Fives are about adjustment. And this five indicates you are adjusting to some kind of change brought on by distress or loss. It's an uncomfortable process, but a necessary one. I just tapped on the transmutation card, the Phoenix card. It, uh, there could be a loss, defeat, or painful separation in the near future, accompanied by feelings of brokenness and low self-esteem. This is all dependent, Cancer, on your state of being if you do the work if you the trick is to make the waiting constructive in this stagnation energy that you are going to be this is your test cancer is the stagnation event if you take the stagnation event with the mindset that you are transforming that you are spiritually developing whether you can see it on the external world or not and trust the universe, trust in yourself, trust that you can get through your own mental anguish and let go of the things that you need to let go of, you are going to see bright coming days, Cancer. But you just need to let go. And that is with everybody in the collective too. We all just need to let go of the things that are no longer working. Anyway, I hope this reading has brought you some clarity. And I love you. I see you. If this if this reading has resonated with you, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, click that noti bell so that every week, every time I post and drop a cancer reading, you are alerted automatically. No worries there. You don't have to go and find me. Just a little bell and boop. Ethereal evolutions. Post a new cancer video. It's simple, you know. Anyway, I love you. I see you. I hope April brings, I hope that you can get through April with loving ease. I am with you.
and I fully support you. Bye.